G'day everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're in the age of the, the super shoes and, and one of the most common questions we're getting in store at, uh, at TIC is, is basically which one is applicable to me. Um, so we want to do a bit of a video to understand how these shoes actually um, are differentiating from one another and how they can maybe complement you based upon your training um, and your upcoming goals. So just a quick recap, super shoes are essentially designed to improve what we call your running economy. And that simply means using a little bit less energy to achieve the same task. So if we wanted to run 45 minutes for a 10K, can we make that four and a half minute kilometre pace just feel a little bit easier? So depending on the characteristic of the distance that you're racing, so say 5K maybe through to a marathon, and also your type of training background, that economy benefit can have quite a differing uh, level of performance improvement and the shoes start to really come into that. So how are they, how are they achieving this improvement in running economy? ultimately through three different variables. So the really common theme is there's a lot of cushioning. The elastic spongy material underneath your foot can help you return a little bit more energy. But what these shoes do really well is there's a lot of cushioning for not much mass or, or reduced weight within the shoe. Once, one um, a unique point that starts uh, to become a, a little bit individual is the, the bending stiffness of the shoe. So with a lot of shoes now having some carbon plates or some stiffer materials in there, it can start to really interact with you individually and, and your comfort filter there starts to become really important. Um, so what we've drawn up here, just to help um, people understand probably how the different shoes can affect them individually, is to ask the question, what's your limiting factor? So if you have a race coming up, you're looking to run a PB and improve on your time, um, the race distance starts to become a really um, important factor to analyse. So for most people, if they're building up to a five kilometre distance, it's probably the pace or the intensity associated with that race that starts to become the limiting factor as to how quick they can go. Whereas probably for most people, if they go to a marathon, the, the distance itself is the main challenge. So if we look at those two ends of the spectrum, we've got something like the Hocker Carbon X, and one theme here is you can see there's a lot of shoe. So there's a lot of cushioning. It's still very lightweight thanks to the materials that are being used and it's very stiff. So if I put a bit of pressure through the front and the rear of the shoe, um, we're not getting much bend. So for people that probably the chassis or the muscles, the fatiguing aspect is coming through the legs, this is a really great option to help them just keep on keeping on as the race distance improves. But if we go up to the other sort of corner of the spectrum where maybe the muscles are actually quite well conditioned to the distance that you're racing and you're looking just to try and get as much speed or intensity out of that, um, out of your body, then maybe something like the Meta Racer that is just that little bit lower profile, enhances the responsiveness on and off the ground and has a little bit less cushioning and therefore a little bit less weight than some of the other shoes as well. However, what's really exciting is when we start to hit this sort of middle patch where probably the engine and the chassis are almost of equal contribution to the fatigue of the race that you're doing. So probably for most people think maybe a 10K up to a half marathon. We've got a couple of options from Saucony that are a little bit different to each other and will really start to complement that individual nature of how you run. So the Pro is the first one that we got in initially. And essentially what we're seeing here is there's a fair bit of shoe, so quite a bit of cushioning, super lightweight, but quite stiff. So we've got a plate the whole way through the shoe. Um, and the only difference now to a model called the speed is essentially that bending stiffness starts to be a little bit less, okay? Now, is that a good or a bad thing? That's a really individual response based upon how you feel in the shoe. What we've sort of done here on the chart is they're probably for the same level of chassis or same level of muscle fatigue, however, a little bit of a different sort of engine or, or pace scenario. So the pro just being that little bit stiffer, ultimately, if you're putting a fair bit of energy into the ground, we can get a bit of extra energy return. Whereas if we're just going that little bit slower, the speed can have a little bit more give and just help us protect the muscles as we start to go a little bit longer. So um, ultimately come in and, and have a bit of a try of all these shoes if you're thinking about um, getting one for your next upcoming race. We're really confident there's, there's one in the range that will help you individually towards those goals and we, we'd be really keen to get your feedback. Cheers.